Welcome back, everyone, to some Throne and Liberty. And we have a brand new world boss that just spawned. It's over here in this uh, shadowed crypt. So we're on our way down to it right now. I believe it's on the... Oh, it's actually on the first floor. Perfect. But this one is... Uh, Miner... Minzerok? Minzerok? <laughs> uh, one of those. Something like that. But we're on our way to it. We'll see how this goes. And then uh, we'll take the video from there. It's been a little bit since I, I last played. But right now, as I'm recording this, one of the other episodes is going up uh, for preview. So if you end up enjoying this one too, leaving likes really do help a ton. Um, I'm periodically still been jumping in here and there, trying to record as I can. I, I am going to be taking a little bit of a hiatus over the next few days, though, so I might not have an episode every single day, but until then, I will try to record what I can. That way, we can post it while I'm gone. And I still haven't decided yet. I may run the... Uh, I, I'm going to run a 24-7 live stream a little bit until I'm back. So that may be Throne in Liberty or it might be my Dragon Age Inquisition playthrough. One of the two, I just haven't fully decided yet because, uh, yeah, we'll see. So this might even be in that if it ends up being like that. We'll see what happens, though. How long do we have? Okay, so we got two minutes. And then let's see what else has opened up on my server. Claim this. Okay, so Howazon is about to open or it is now opened. Yeah, now there this one should be available. And then it looks like there's a new event. Lift the moonlight spell. Let me see if I can locate either of these. Yeah, so I don't see the new... I, it's weird. I don't know how they do the events a lot of times. Because if we look right here for 1 p.m. Or no, for 2 p.m. Wait, no. 3. I'm, I'm mixing it up. This is now... This is 2. This is 3. Okay. Anyways... From looking at that, it's always the same one. These are always the basic events that happen. There's the same basic events. There's the same six, the same six, the same. So when do these ever happen? I don't know when or how we would even do that one. Like this piece or guild dynamic event. Lift the Moonlight spell does not even show up anywhere. There was another one that unlocked recently, too. Yeah, right here. Co-op, Dominion, Guild, Dynamic Event, Requiem, Light. It's another one that I've never seen on the map. All right, here we go. Two, one. Oh, no, I'm still in my healer build. There we go. There it is. I'm pressing R because that's what <laughs> what Dragon Age is for the basic attack. So it's throwing me off. Oh, jeez. Oh, run. There's water. Oh, no. I'm dead. That's crazy. All right, come on. 
come on. Let us in, let us in. Here we go. Man, that's like barely any people left down there. Oh no. Oh, I saw it. I saw it coming. Jeez. I should have known. Oh, the waves. Oh, 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 I'm falling off the edge. Uh oh, what do I do now? Of course I would be the one to fall down here. Uh, maybe we do stuck or escape. Escape. Teleporting to a safe location. All right. Well, if you guys ever get stuck, this is what you do. <laughs> you go ahead and uh, type flash escape. This is actually my first time using this, so hopefully it just puts me back up there. Three, two, one, boom. Are you kidding me? No way. Okay, wait, can I latch on to this? What? I got like ragdolled back down. All right, we're good. We're good. Just give it up now. No you way. cannot evade the spec. <laughs> we're so close. He's got like 25% health. No, 35. What? Um, rubber banding? Hello? I do. We're just going to move past it. Okay, 24%. Wow, let's get more damage in there. Um, it's happening again. Stolen souls. Okay. Eleven percent. Just give it up now. You cannot evade this. I don't even know how this one works here. <laughs> this mechanic. <laughs> this is crazy. Look, this guy's jumping. I think they're they're ragdolling. They're not ragdolling. They're rubber banding again. I feel like I'm going super speed. He's pulling us in, but there's no like indication that we're being pulled in. God. We got him though. Yeah, everyone gets Am I the only one being pulled to the center? Hello? I'm not holding anything right now. <laughs> I don't think this is supposed to be like this. Ready? Look, I'm not pressing anything. And we go back to the center. What the? What is happening? Uh, <laughs> other people are able to stand out here fine. So, okay. I wasn't crazy. I knew I wasn't, wasn't crazy there. Yeah, I feel like I'm being like wild. What is happening? Same thing if I try going this way. 
I wonder what it looks like to them. Alright, well, we're good here. We got through it. We got the boss down. Where did it pull it, put us back at? Oh, okay. Oh, we're back in, uh... Watcher's Post? Okay. It's like, I saw this for a second. I thought we were in Castleton. Not too bad. Alright, let me go up to the Sundries Merchant. Let's get your soul. And the storage. Do that first. Did we open our chest? No, we did not. It's good to meet you, brother. We'll be seeing a lot of each other from now on. Oh, will we now? Wait, where did that chest go that I just got? Did these base material? Oh, no. Not those. Here's the Stellarite. I'll take that. Great exta extraction tokens. Reaper soul. Oh, here it is. Those are rare. Okay. Let's just open up these because we get basic materials from it. I use those Stellarite. We have been getting a lot of that, luckily, which is good. All right, let's go to the Sundries Merchant. In Lastland, over here, the best sundries in all of Lastland. First, let's get a ton of these. That way we're stocked up because I did drop down a good bit. Ruler of Lycan achieved already. Wow. We get Sorum Soroduma Thorman. Thorodoma Island next. Purchase those. I'll buy the daily limit of eggs. Daily limit of rye and honey. We will actually go doing some, some cooking as well. Go to the Amatoy house. I saw those. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny. There's been a few people that are not like they do not like the Amatoys. If you even see them, they're just not happy. I mean, personally, I thought it, I thought they were going to have more of a. Uh, effect on the story i guess you could say or like the game in general but really the only thing they do is follow you around and give you some tips here and there that's about it i thought there was going to be more to them as far as i know but i did see a few people complaining saying like they can't stand the thing following you around i think you can unsummon them but then you lose out on like some healing um, okay, cool. So let's actually go back over to Sto Stone Guard. Not Skyhold. I still don't know why my guy's picture is looking to the left. All of a sudden, it's still doing that. But he is. Go to the cooking oven. Honey rye cookie. What is this good for? Health recovery, 500 per second. Boss hit chance. Honestly, I might go for the fried eggs. You can only cook one. Just so I have it for the next time we go up against the boss or world boss and that's everything because we can't make any other things here unfortunately i wonder if it's worth making the remedies like will that increase your cooking skill or no See what we got here. Claim this. Nice. 
secret dungeons. Ooh, we haven't actually done these in a while, and I haven't done Gate of Infinity. Maybe I'll try both. The bunch of rewards there. If I get to, because I haven't bought anything in this game other than the early access, which was the forty dollars. If I get to like level, well. Yeah, if I get to 50 for the battle pass, there's 23 days left, then I'll probably end up buying the premium bat pass. Because at that point, you spent so much extra time in it, and you get all these rewards. Not really necessary still, but if I do reach that level, maybe. Maybe. That's like one of the only times I can kind of justify because i i definitely fall into the habit of buying a battle pass or have not really anymore but i have fallen into the habit of previously buying a battle pass thinking i would complete it but never actually complete it so then it ends up being a waste so i'd rather uh wait and see scared witless weekly missions okay I would love to hop into a co-op dungeon, but I'm just like, so some of these have been tough, like Temple of Slaughter. We tried doing these three. I didn't even attempt yet. Oh, that's this, the guy from the beginning, the Butcher's Canyon. Oh, that's kind of cool. These I've done a few times. They're pretty easy. All right, let's go to the secret dungeon. Let's see if we can do this. And then maybe we'll try the, uh, after the secret dungeon, maybe we'll try the other one. All right, I'm gonna use the XP bonus thing. I feel like the last dungeon I, I did taught me the importance of how good parry actually is if you get it proper. Stunned so much. Okay, I pressed it right there. There we go. Oh, God. Halfway, but I'm almost dead too. I'm out of stamina. Ah, oh, oh, yeah, I was dead either way. Damn. I'll give it another shot. Wait for everything to regen. And here we go. Oh, God. 
Man, this is... I'm getting destroyed. I definitely feel like I'm hitting that. I, I, I said it a lot throughout my playthrough earlier on. How I, ne I never felt like I was hitting a wall. But I can absolutely say I feel as far as content goes that I'm hitting that wall. I definitely starting to feel like I'm, I'm hitting that wall where like the only way to progress is massively, massively, massively grunt. Um, but we'll see. I don't know that that wasn't going well there. It's doable, but I also feel like I'm not doing enough damage. Like maybe if I spent the next like 45 minutes, we could probably get it like really learning it. But let's see if there's I, the other thing too. We never got you know any blue lithographs. And at this point, here, I don't friend. think we're ever going to need them because we're getting our, yeah, we have blue everything except for my cloak, uh, Anything else you'd like which to speaking see, of, you it's just the, the war will begin. Glad you're here. I'll make you the best armor in all of Cilicia. Do I have enough material? No, we don't need more lithographs for these. Come back anytime. Let's see. We have these materials. The thing is, too, there's so much to do, you never know what to end up doing. Like, I can go back to the abyss here and just go and grind for a bit. Shadowed Crypt. What are the other? So this one's level 50. The Abyss has 44 to 48 open. Sure, we do have these two quests. Let's go to the Abyss. What's the, uh, there's like a daytime logo right here. Why is it shining like that? Accessible only during the day. Wait, this closes at night? I didn't know that this was only open during the day. Yeah, I have a ton of tokens at this point too built up for not only dungeons, but also this. The thing is, I would queue up for a dungeon again, but I really don't want to, you know, get 45 minutes in for the dungeon and then have to get off, especially during one of these and, and feel bad for my team. I mean, granted, like I said in the last one, that's what I had to do because it just it, it inevitably got too late for me to even be on. Um, But don't want to want to do that to my team. Unless if I should, just go on, go in. I just feel bad if I uh, we don't complete it, or they have to queue and find another healer. If we end up spending, you know an hour I want to do it I want to try like jumping between dungeons but I also don't want to be the guy that just bails every time they can't complete it I'm almost dead. What the hell happened? Did we do anything with the... Oh, we got it. Release bound spirits. So there's five of them that we have to do. As one.
I've been checking out this side. Uh, I know a lot of you are probably playing on console and stuff. Or if you are playing on PC too. Um, but I've been checking this Steam stats. This game is still doing really good. It's still like up there. Pretty high up in uh, player count. Which is kind of surprising. It's been staying at a solid like 270k. Which isn't too far off from their peak of like 300. It's like 330k. That means there's still an active amount of people like everywhere playing it or new people still getting into it. Probably the, uh, so when I come back from my little hiatus, I come back the same day that new world, a releases. So we'll probably be going directly into that. Which I'm, I'm excited for. I'm looking forward to. And then that'll probably lead me into... Uh, over the next few days or so. Until we get to... Uh, Dragon Age Veilguard. Which, again, I'm really looking forward to. I don't care what, what people are saying. I love Dragon Age, no matter what. And a lot of the, the complaints, I feel like, are complete BS anyways. But uh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Gaming is fun. I mean, you've got so much out there these days that's free and paid experiences that it's like, at the end of the day, man, play what you like, ignore what you don't. If, something, if you play this game, if you watch my gameplay and you're like, dude, this ain't for me, Hey, I, I don't blame you. There's plenty of games that I don't play on my channel that are not for me. And that's why you don't see coverage of them. But if that's just because it's not for me doesn't mean that I, I uh, you know, don't respect it for other people. You don't see me playing FIFA or Call of Duty on this channel. And there's more reasons than, than that. I will be playing Black Ops 6, though, uh, the campaign. And if there's time in November, I may even potentially go back and play the Black Ops the originally, the original campaign, if there's time, which right now it looks like there could potentially be a good amount of time. We'll see though. That's like a little sneak peek in some plans that I have. Control the dungeon waypoint, release the bound spirit. What do we have to do with the spirit armor just destroy it I guess it like brings out new enemies and stuff Yeah, it is. Wish I had somebody else right now to help with this. About to die. Longbow mastery increased to six. Okay. I still want to go back. I know right now I'm kind of in the dungeon, but I still want to go back and actually do some of the uh, story milestone stuff that you can do. Are you kidding me? This this regen. Okay, screw it. You really gotta do these with uh with at least one other person. I'm gonna teleport out of here. Let's actually go do 
some of those story mile milestones. Get some of the stuff that I haven't gotten so far. All right, let's see. Did escape. Oh, we did uh, get some new books here. Some of the abilities not really using. Let's upgrade this one. Not enough to upgrade it all the way, but still. That's something. Where is the Codex Exploration? This stuff. This is what I was talking about. I want to do more of these because you get, you do get a decent amount of rewards from doing it, to be fair. And you get other, uh, war, not guardians. Yeah, guardians. I almost said warlock. Uh, just by doing them. Like these even give purple rewards. Still pretty good. Some of them, I mean, that one's Shadowed Crypt, but either way. What's this one? All right, we have to go to this during the day. Let me untoggle. Is it, okay, it is H. H. Then here. Untoggle these two. So I remember this thing is, if I remember correctly. Oh, where is it? I'll probably need to look at it again, but it only spawns in the morning. I think it was like around here. It might have been around there somewhere. One sec, chat. Okay. Uh, yeah, I thought it was around there somewhere. Codex. What if we go to a different one? You have to do it like during daytime or something like that. Register four. Register four registries one at a time during this while it's in progress. That one will have to wait until that event. That's the, the other thing I'm not the biggest fan of at times is there's so much like time gated. Like this doesn't happen until 2 p.m. I'm not gonna be able to get to that today. So we would have to do it a different day. It just makes it a little rough at time. We can pick up these quests. See what we can get done with these. All right, there's one. Talk to the merchant vanguard. Resistance soldier. At this rate, I'll merge. Wait, are we getting like a cutscene? Ride the sandstorm to your destination. What? Okay, that's kind of cool. Okay. That's actually really cool. Okay, merchant representative. We made it. Who are you? A sandstorm will wait. These are what I need to do. When the day turns into night or the night turns into day, receive a blessing near Moonlight Oasis. 
23 minutes until day. God, nothing is going in my favor. Guild care. Okay, we can't do this either because the event is not going on right now. Man, I miss it. There was one day. There was literally one day where I went uh, to go record and two things happened at the same time. You had not only the uh, boss happen at the time that I got on, but you also had the events happen at 2 p.m. or at or let the same time. But right now, there's nothing. There's nothing until 3. So it's still another hour and a half until then. Can't even do that if I wanted to. And then night turns into day in the next little bit. What about the, uh, where, where is this one? Okay, that's not too far. Talk to the sand-covered villager near the Tailoring Association Master Caravan. Gotta go over here. This is a star tree. Wait, can we get this now? Oh, yeah, there's star trees and their fruit. At the moonlight desert. Wait, so it's still letting me do that. Collect the records. Okay, there's still one more and we need to get over up north. Sand dust. Search this. Search for clues in the moonlight desert sand dust. You know what I think I'm going to do? Uh... We'll see, we'll see. I have been saying while playing this game, it's made me really want to go back to Final Fantasy again. But playing that game at a slow pace, it would be rough. But we'll see. I've also always wanted to do like a full playthrough again of Star Wars The Old Republic. Um, but maybe we'll do that sometime around Christmas because I feel like that's always a good time to we'll start a new playthrough. We gotta find the doll in the dust. Leave me alone, sand turtle. <laughs> You're not supposed to be hostile. Okay. We're going to pull out all the incorrect ones. Oh no. All right, I'm gonna take a random guess and go for this one. Come on, please. Oh, okay, we're gonna go for this one. Nope. If 
this isn't it, I'm gonna fight these first. Yeah, we got it. Us. Come on, one of these has got to be right. There we go. Got it. Oh, that wait, this actually kind of works now, sort of. Uh, Never mind. Where's the. Yeah, we need to go to Moonlight Oasis right there. I want to go there to see if I can collect the star trees and the other one. Star trees and the merchant handwritten thing. That's east here. Get to that ant nest. Thank you again for all your support so far during this playthrough of Throne and Liberty. It has been way better than I expected it to be. Uh, and I, I really, really enjoy my time playing this. Still, it's, it is without a doubt slowing down because I think we're hitting that point where in order to make progress, it slows. You really got to dedicate the time. And with me forever being variety, it becomes harder to do so. But at the same time, I'm not really in the state of grinding as much as I used to for some MMOs. Maybe one day I'll retire <laughs> and play just one MMO that really, really, really captures me. But I don't know what... when when that'll be or what that'll be i think at the end of the day i'm probably always going to do variety because i i just love trying new games and getting a new story told and all that fun stuff and we got 15 minutes to get the blessing collect the merchant's handwritten records South, uh, wait, what's it say? South of Moonlight Desert. So, like, down here. Let's go over there. Let's see if we can get one more letter. And then this one would be done. And we just have events that we'll have to do. Like desert caravan. Oh, I see one. There it is. Oh no, is somebody else running to grab it? Might be. I don't know if it shares. Okay, let's run back up to this area. God, getting attacked. I don't know if it would be faster for me to teleport over here. I mean, it might be. But at this rate... Yeah, you just have to go right. But we're almost there. Okay, maybe not. We're running out of stamina. That doesn't help. Ouch. Leave me alone, you little cobra. 
Alright, we got it. Just gotta get that blessing now. I see this in the sky, but I, I don't know what that is. Moonlight Desert. Does the moon actually change, like move? And then it becomes daytime, I wonder? The guy does look beautiful. Let's see. I actually didn't grab a thumbnail for this one. So let's grab one real quick. There you go. I've enjoyed doing these like third person thumbnails. Been cool. Let me see where the other. So we have this and acquire the treasure. So that one is treasure of daybreak. Honestly, I don't know if I might do that one first. Let's see. Treasure of a break. It's right over. Aha. Oh, right, right. Treasure located near the two stones with an ancient writing just northeast of Vienta village. An important thing to note is the treasure will only appear on the ground at sunrise. Once the treasure appears, simply interact with it to complete the quest. So this is, this is what we're going to try to do. We're going to attempt it. I am going to wait for this to pop. We got 10 minutes. And then I will go get those. But because I'm kind of out of it right now, we're going to go ahead and chill on this episode. So... I, I will do these. I'll, I'll remain online, but I'm not going to sit here for 10 minutes and have you guys just like watch or listen. Uh, I'll go ahead and chill here and then I'll be back. Uh, my goal is to hopefully pick up tomorrow once again and uh, at the same time do whatever content is available and take it from there. So again, if you all enjoyed this, leaving likes really does help out. Join the Discord for announcements anytime I go live or post new videos. And I will see you all very, very soon. Thank you for watching and uh, have a good rest of your day or night. Peace.